right, so I thought I was going to show you a hack here at the beginning of the video, but it turns out I'm a hack. Normally when you have plastics that get white or they dry out or whatever, and you heat them up, it, it takes that whiteness and oxidation and it melts the plastic back together, and then it normally looks brand new again. That wasn't happening on this. So, I'm a hack, and that didn't work. I didn't burn the car down, though, so that's a plus. <laughs> and it's raining out. Anyways, I was going to use this steering wheel in this car, but then the more I looked at it, there's one slight difference on these steering wheels, and uh, it is this portion right here on mine has a silver ring right there and I mean honestly it's pretty much the same besides that I went ahead and removed these buttons and stuff but I got a leather cover and it's gonna go over one of these wheels and it didn't really matter which one so I think I'm gonna keep this silver trim one here I might still have to disassemble this wheel to get the uh, cover to go the way I want it to but um, we got a leather cover I'm gonna get it out real quick I'm gonna throw it over top of this one and uh, we're gonna see kind of get a like a little glimpse of what it's gonna look like so let me get that out So I'm a little disappointed in this cover. It was like 60 bucks, and uh, the video they show of the person installing it, I don't think, I think they just used somebody else's video, somebody installing it, but on the edges of it, they were rolled, and they were like stitched and rolled on the end. This one is just cut with the stitching on it. So instead of having a rolled edge on it where you lap over here, it's a freaking just a cut edge I don't, I don't know i'm a little upset over that but i think i'm gonna have to disassemble the steering wheel because i think the trims i'm gonna put over top of like this piece here and uh yeah i think i'm gonna have that kind of like go over top of it i don't know i think i'm just gonna go ahead and install this on that wheel because i don't know how i'm gonna like it so I think I'm just going to install it on that one, keep this one the way it is. And if it doesn't turn out that great, I'm just going to keep rolling with this one for now. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'll show you how to do this. I think I'm just going to take it back in the house and do it because then I'm not going to be in this cramped space with it raining in, in this hot box here. All right, so here we are. Don't mind my wife. I hope I'm not in there. <laughs> you all don't want to see me right now. Do you, you want to see her? No. For my own safety, I'm not going to show her right now. I'm scared. It's got a little bit harder when it's not on the car. All right, now get it all situated. So what you can do is you can stick it through the leather on the back side, down in these, and then swoop it around, come through one of these loops, and then you're gonna go across and you're gonna skip one each time. So we just time lapse this. I gotta go get some scissors. Hopefully this turns out good.
there it is i don't hate it completely <laughs> so i guess i'll try it on the car kind of don't like this if it would have been a rolled edge it would look a lot better but i guess i'll go ahead and throw this on it, it looks all right it's not horrible I kind of like the stitching look so all right we'll go throw it in and see what it looks like all right so first things first we are going to disconnect the battery because we're going to be messing with this airbag and that noise you keep hearing is my dash cam it has a battery built in and it every time it hears a noise or anything so you're going to hear that but we are also doing this uh he heated seat element and there's an airbag in the seat so right now we're just going to disconnect the battery and we don't have to worry about airbags blowing up in our face or anything like that we should be good to go then Now before I go ham with this thing and, and tighten it down and everything, it seemed like I'm either too far this way or too far this way when I drive it, or like when I tighten it up. So I'm gonna drive the car, I tighten this nut up uh, by hand, and I'm gonna drive it, see where it's at. If it's not lined up, then you know when I'm going straight, then I'll loosen that, move it a notch, put it back on. We're gonna get it as straight as we can. I'm gonna drive it with the airbag off, so I gotta go reconnect the battery again uh it's gonna throw an airbag code that's fine it'll go away or we can clear it it doesn't matter to me um but this is how i'm gonna drive it here for a second and we're just gonna test and make sure that i'm not putting it on crooked i tried to keep it lined up but it just doesn't seem like it wants to line up on the right tooth so and you don't have to go far you just got to go down the road and go straight all right we adjusted it and it was off, so I brought it back. Well, it was actually straight. I had it right the first time. So then I moved it. I thought it was a little off, moved it one tooth and it's way too far to the left. So brought it back. This is where it is. Now I do like, I like this cover. I think it's, it's decent and I think it looks good. Only downside I don't like is, I mean, I pulled it as tight as I could and I still have a little bit of sag right here. And then I have a, a good bit on the back. So whenever I'm turning, I can feel the, I can feel it being, it's loose right back here. Now it's tight everywhere else around it, but uh, it's even tight around these over on the sides. I actually had to put some extra threads on that one to pull it even tighter, but yeah, it's just down here on this fatter part, it's just a little loose on the back, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad. So shut up camera. Now I went ahead and disconnected the battery again. So we have no power. Plus I'm taking the seat out here soon uh airbags like the steering wheel airbags are probably about the easiest ones that you can replace out of any of them you have the least amount of leg work to do this one has a ground strap on it that goes on right here and then it gets the two regular plugs like all airbags do why is it so loose on this one it's bent <clears throat> I'm gonna get some pliers. <laughs> Wondering why we're not working on the Elantra. Uh, part shortages have hit me now. I cannot, for the life of me, get the brand new bumper. The second company canceled on me now. And uh, the front core support. It's nowhere to be found. Nobody has it. No junkyards around me even have Elantra GTs. So, as of right now... I'm still looking for parts, so I'm a little, a little stressed out. I've never had this issue before, but now it's finally hitting home. It's just not cool. 
Never had a problem getting parts. A lot tighter. That's tight. And these things have little clips. Make sure they're open. And just push them down on there. And then to reinstall it, you just line it up. And it's on there. They have spring clips and they have a dowel in there and they just go in and they're spring loaded. That's your horn. So it's probably what the ground wire was for my horn. But yeah, it's on there. That camera. Why can you just not shut up? So I'm going to save you guys some time. I'm going to go ahead and rip this seat out and uh, take it in the garage and then I'll start recording in there. All right, have you ever wanted to put $200 into your Subaru that you can't even see? Well, I got just the part for you. This right here is a heated seat element for the bottom pad. Mine doesn't work. I got that for $185, which was a discounted price. So that was nice. So anyways, these gold-plated elements here come with uh, sticky pads on them here. You take them off and you stick it down into the seat. Once you uh, get it all situated, this is going to go on here probably like this. And uh, stick and it goes underneath the cushion, okay? Not on top. And uh, we'll get it all situated, but the old one is going to be held in with metal clips. I watched the video and they cut them to take them out. And you know how I feel about that? I'm ripping the old one out. I don't even... I, they cut them and then they had to go back in and get the little pieces out and stuff I think I'm just going to leave them in and rip the old one out I mean it, this doesn't look like it's very strong if you ask me but yeah nice I don't know it might go on like that I don't know exactly how this goes on round one fight As for these little middle pins that come out of the seat, you do have to take these things out. If you don't think that I'm not going to replace these with Harbor Freight Genuine Zip Ties, you're wrong. Because I am. Yeah, this thing stuck to the seat pretty good, too. I was a little sad. I kind of ripped a little bit of cushion off. But for the most part, it's there. So now I'm going to get the new one laid on. It was kind of ragged in here in the back. See how it's all bunched up, and that's probably whatever happened there. That probably messed it up. I don't know. It definitely wasn't sitting in there the way it was supposed to be. So now, we get these wires routed, and then we'll start sticking this one in. All right, so I got the wires in there. You can see exactly well, let me get this wire where I want it to go. Oh man. The pan's a little sticky in the back. I don't know why.
about this install so far is uh i can feel the element in there like i can feel the ribs and stuff i'm sure that's gonna wear in over time like the old one did but as of right now i can feel them in there now i don't know if i'll feel that with my butt whenever i sit down but here is the old one and it's a factory one i put in so it's not any different than this one but i can just i can feel these little ribs in it so all right well i guess we're just gonna hope for the best here and go throw this in the car seat still feels good oh yes all right let's hook the battery up hook the battery back up and then i'm gonna heat my butt up for you <laughs> something you'll have to do now you know I said I could feel the heating element with my hand I don't feel it sitting on it so it's not really as big of a deal as I thought it was let me see I can feel it in the passenger seat too and it's factory so it was just me being picky all right I'm happy now everything's fixed so although this might not be the episode that you wanted this is the episode that you got. <laughs> I'm currently in the process of possibly doing a trade deal and getting a new truck. Okay. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to be coming if it happens. If it is, it's, it's going to be a newer truck and I'm going to sell my truck if that's what happens. And I, I hope it does. But anyways... If you guys like this video smash that like button consider subscribing i hope this video helps somebody out there that has a heated seat problem or something like that you know it's, it's a common issue so this was a good video for somebody maybe not all of you but somebody out there needed to know how to do that it's a pain in the butt but you can do it if i can do it you can do it that dislike button if your mama grew up in the hood See you on the next episode of Unwrecked. And here we have Stewie, tails out. But all appendages are in. Almost a perfect loaf. If you would have tucked the tail, we would have had a perfect kitty loaf. You're not having it. Over here, as for Miss Stella, oh, I can see the paws. I see them. We don't have a perfect loaf over here. You're going to get a, a 6 out of 10. You okay with that? Huh? Work on that loaf form. Okay? Good job. Remember to tuck the tail. <laughs>